hi guys welcome to another video so today we'll just quickly be checking out how to set up custom fonts on next year's 14 so if you're in a, if you're in a situation where you need to be able to use a custom font on your design instead of using fonts from google fonts or from adobe fonts or some other sites we could just make use of our own font file directly inside next year's 14. so what we just currently have here is just a next year's application that was created with Dewin css and if we go to lookout 3000 we just see this is just the basic template for next year's and so let's 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 start let's start working let's start doing this now go into the page page directory and uh, we take out all this content and uh, let's just write some custom text here let's see let's just put some dummy text just to see what's really happening here and go back to our index start to refresh okay so we have this let's go ahead taking out some styles some styles that comes with like a regular great next app let's take out most of the styles I already need them right now. Let's create enough room for our code. Check out these parts. So we'll be using them on this video. Let's see what we have. So we just have a frame up here. And if you notice, this font is we just inspect and see what we have there. So we have a font, it's just an inter font coming from next year's font. Um next year's font system which mixes of um google font behind the scenes so it's just an inter font right but we want to change that to a custom so let's go back to our code editor and see what we have here um, so in this directory in my app directory i'll create a folder just create a folder called fonts where all our fonts is still residing and um, yeah we just pick up two fonts two custom fonts i got from the internet which we'll be using for this video take, out, take this one too you know so we have two fonts so now how can we use those fonts in our application how are we going to be able to define those fonts and tell next year okay i want to use these fonts across our application so how next year how next year uh does it or is um how the how this how the how you could do this in next year is just we need to go into our layout remember this layout wraps around the whole application right this layout wraps around our whole application so even if we have other pages in this route or we have other pages um in this application this layout is like a wrapper around our whole application right so we have a font folder with two different custom fonts now let's quickly um, let's quickly do this first of we just want to use our custom font right which is our local font. so the first thing is as you can see here now we just have in time for there from next font google but we don't want to use a font from the Google font, right? We want to use our own font that we, we got from our designer, right? The font file directly. So to do that, next year's gives us a value which we could import. For example, we call it local fonts. Um, local fonts, we import it from, you guess correctly, from font local, right? So we have font local. For sake of clarity, we could, we could take out this inter and uh, just take out inter for now font and um, what we could just say remember you have to define this outside the components here outside your root layout right so we just create a variable a const variable and we need to get remember we have two fonts right now let's let's say let's call this dialer the dialer font is equal to remember we imported a local font from here so local font basically just gonna be local font is just this um then we will be able to import our font from here. Remember, it takes in a value called source, and you can see source basically is where this font exists, right? So now we need to be able to move to that part, move one way into font directory. Then remember, we, we want to do this dialer regular. So we have this font right now. So now, how are we going to be able to use this in our app? Now, for this first example, we just want to use only this font across our application so we could just come into the class name on the body tag which is the wrapper around our whole application right our root layout for next years you could see font dot class name so now at this point every text appearing in our application are all going to be a custom font or it's our local font we just we just installed now let's see let's refresh this page and see it says unexpected token html expected we have an error here let's see what we have it seems cool by the class name first class name okay, children okay everything works 
Now you can see. Now let's let's go back and make this visible for us to see. You go to here and remember we're using PWIN CSS. So we have access to some classes we could use. Let's use um something like very big so we could really see it on our browser. Okay, so right now we have this custom font. So any any part in our application where we where we have text, they are all gonna follow or they are gonna use this font. Now that is the first part. That's the first part. So I think on that on that another um another way I want to show on that example I want to show is say for example you want let's go back to you now let this is this is let's make this let's style this up a little bit let's put a paragraph text and let's put a paragraph text it's just gonna be irregular and yeah we just put another paragraph that says welcome is not spelled correctly welcome to our page here let's refresh this and see what we have here welcome to our page um let's add some separation here let's add some let's add a padding of like a very very obvious padding to separate the text from each other and so let's add a little padding to make this look nice looking very weird in the eyes padding dash five to like the container itself let's do this so we have this two text in, in in a scenario where you want to be able to use let's say for let's say for example you want to make use of a separate font for this welcome text so let's say you you have a different i you have a different design or based on the design that you are giving to by your designer you're supposed to use a separate font here so now how are we going to be able to use a different font from here how are we going to be able to use a different font on this separate text now remember we have we have uh we have a layout which takes in which makes all our children to you know don't make me i'm already recording so we have a wrapper Sorry, okay, I don't forget. So we have this this wrapper, right? And all the text in our content, all the text in our pages are all gonna be this particular um uh, particular font. Now let's um let's fix that. So what we could do here, we could define it inside, we could define a separate const. Remember, we have two fonts, two custom fonts, right? We got from the designer. This is called uh, Hack Hackip. Let's make it a Hackip. We're gonna call this Hackip. Keep is in cost to a local font. Remember that's that's what we imported from next year. Then the source is just gonna be equal to going to fonts and want to use Hakip. Now remember we we don't want to use it on this root layout here. We want to be able to use it in a separate file, in a separate page, or in a separate file. And we want to use it in a separate not really a separate page, but more like we want to use it on a separate component or a separate element. So what next year's recommend you just need to export this so you have to reuse it right so you could like, reuse it across your application now this is exportable we can now import this so we can come into this part of the application where we have this and uh, remember we need to make this text the trials to be able to use the variable directly and uh, let's just close this up real quick we give our errors so we have this and what we could say is remember this is not imported let's import Let's import our font from our root layout. Remember, we exported it from the layout itself here. Then, now if you try this, you go to go to the browser and refresh. Doesn't work. You say dot class name. Remember, that is class name. For it to work, for it to work for us. Refresh the page. Okay. Now you see we've been able to use separate fonts for the family. And just for this text, we have a separate font family too. So remember, any text we just add here. Let's say we add an H1. It says different um, dummy text, right? We're still gonna have, we're still gonna stand with this, right? We're still gonna be able to use this. Why this is just standing different? Then we also add, have a separate, a separate text that we could also use this. So you could go. The, the the list could go on and go on and go on as much as you want. And uh, yeah, I think here yeah, that is how you add. It. That's how you use a lookup font in next years. And I hope you've been able to learn one or two things about using custom fonts in next year's 14. Thank you. Like this video if you found it helpful and leave a comment. A comment and leave a comment below if you find this useful. And also leave a comment if you have any questions, doubts you want to talk about, and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Thank you once more.